Okay, let's do the name Andrew in Descript now. Again, we're dealing with a fairly simple word. For these first lessons, I'm trying to keep it to the basics. So, no more than double letter combinations at most, and as few as possible. So let's look. Now, the A-N combo, we just looked at that previously. That's very easy. D-R, combine the D with the R by simply adding a horizontal line. The difference between a D-R and an L-R is only in the width of the bar, so you have to be careful. When drawing your descript, there always has to be a clear definition in your head or some kind of context that makes it clear what is a dash and what is a bar. Now, it's quite easy. If you want to be careful, you can simply do it. the L's extremely small, and they'll always clearly be L's, and do the, the, the H's and the D's as far as you can to the edges, and they'll always be clear. It's when you try to play the middle ground for design and aesthetic purposes that you start to get yourself into some trouble. Uh, the EW, again, can be, can be combined into many way, many forms. Anyways, so we've got, that's what we've got to work with here. Simplest form, vertical straight line, and Drew. I'll call that the simplest form, even though it uses quite a few double letter combos. Now, how can we design this to fit a perfect square? Well, we're kind of dealing with two separate spaces. This one's kind of got some extra space on the side, so we could curve the D like that and try to have this occupy the two left sides. So we do this. And it starts to occupy a more square-like space. Obviously, I did a little wide, maybe, but you can see where I'm getting at with this. You can actually make almost any letter fit almost any space desired. You could. If you had some extra space over here, you could do the W like that, or whatever. You're getting the idea if you, if you look at what I'm doing here. So, let's try to make a couple nice versions quickly before we finish this one off. So, something interesting. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. A, N, D, R, E, W. I actually ended up going horizontally instead of starting at the bottom and working our way up. So let's try more of an arch. That could be fun. Okay, and let's try long and horizontal quickly. Now obviously the best is to play with one style over and over until you perfect it, but I don't have time for that at the moment, so... I don't know, I just kind of felt there wasn't enough occupying the top part by the end there, but again, play with it, have some fun. Maybe bring the W back down there to fill it in.